Well, today is the day the FDA will be meeting in just a few hours for a public hearing that could determine whether Americans can begin getting immunized in just a matter of days. So this morning, we want to know, are you hopeful? Does the vaccine make you feel hopeful in regards to the pandemic? And the majority of people who have weighed in thus far are saying yes, but we're going to keep that poll open so you can weigh in. Chris Sadegi joining us this morning at Texas Harris Medical Texas Health Harris Medical Hospital in Fort Worth, Chris, and the vaccine is one of a kind. Yes, Kara, we've talked a lot about Pfizer's vaccine, waiting to get that final approval today. Moderna's vaccine will go through the same process next week, but both of these vaccines use a different method from what we usually see with vaccines that fight other viruses. Typically in a vaccine, they are injecting the actual virus into your body so that it will develop antibodies to fight the virus. That is not the method used in these two coronavirus vaccines. They're using a method never approved before in the US and it's called messenger RNA. Try to simplify it here for you. What it does is send a message to your body to produce a type of protein. That is the same protein found on the outside of the coronavirus cells so that when it comes into contact with the virus, it triggers that immune response. So far, the clinical trials have shown it to be highly effective, but have not shown just how long the immunity might last. Even though it's a different method, you could experience typical vaccine-related side effects like fatigue, muscle pain, fever, and chills. A professor at the University of Michigan thinks those sick feelings might deter up to 30% of patients from returning to get that needed second dose of the vaccine. And although we've heard mostly about Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine, right now there are more than 300 vaccines in development for coronavirus worldwide. 11 of those are in the clinical trial stage. Kara, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. So our poll results this morning, 82% of people say the vaccine does help them feel hopeful during this pandemic. So you can continue to join the conversation using the hashtag I am up on Twitter and Facebook. And thank you to everyone who voted in our poll this morning. Remember, you can watch the hearing today right here on our WFAA social platforms that begins at eight o'clock and that includes our YouTube page. Well, as our healthcare workers continue to work the front lines, help is on the way. Every day, there are more and more people who are signing up and graduating from nursing school, and that's because there is a huge need right now for those frontline workers. Hannah Davis with us this morning in Dallas with more information on what the future looks like. Yeah, good morning, Kara. Earlier we were talking about this being really a tale of two numbers. On one side of it, we have shortages of current nurses, real strain on the healthcare system. But on the other side, we see young people, men and women, stepping up, ready to be nurses, going forward in a time when the country needs this more than ever. Let's take a look at what we're seeing locally as well as across the nation. You know, nursing schools here in DFW say they've been getting inundated with applications in recent months, saying it's almost too much to handle, but a good problem to have. Men and women wanting to become nurses in a time when the healthcare system is simply in desperate need. You know, even before COVID, there was already a nursing shortage. Industry experts saying we already needed an additional 20 to 50,000 nurses between now and 2030. And on top of those already low numbers, health officials say current nurses are exhausted, having worked the front line since March, needing a break, but COVID not slowing down until that vaccine is widely available. Now, here's photos of a recent pinning ceremony for Baylor University's Dallas-based nursing program. The school says nearly every single one of their graduates already has a job showing the need right now. We talked to the dean of that school about why people are signing up in such high rates. She believes it's truly a sense of purpose. Everybody's just eager to graduate and get out there and help. Um, we consider nursing a calling. You know, something else that we're seeing is actually traveling nurses. This is when crews will come into certain areas that have really been hit hard to relieve those people that live locally that have been working for months and months. I actually have a friend who does this. She's gone from city to city, including here in Dallas. And she says what she's seen in that time is like nothing she's seen before because of COVID. So more people coming in. That's definitely what we need. Mark, over to you. Oh, absolutely. More ne nurses needed now more than ever. Thank you for that, Hannah.